Be afraid. Be very afraid. <laughs> Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Gabe and this is Gabe Loves Makeup. And as you can see, we are getting ready to have a very, very, very colorful time today. We're going to have a lot of fun today. So please don't be scared. I'm just like, I'm just mentally trying to get myself prepared before I get ready to get into this look. But before I do... If you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Gabe. I am a 50-year-old makeup artist. I've been in the industry for 30 plus years and I've worn many different types of hats and I've been in many different arenas of the cosmetic field as well as management and as well as customer service and retail. Um, so welcome to my channel. I'm so glad you're here and I hope this doesn't scare you off because <laughs> it's only going to get worse. <laughs> My older subscribers, hey guys, I love you guys so much because you're so fabulous. I love you, love you, love you, love you, love you. So, I hope you guys are so, I'm so glad that you're here. And today, we're gonna have a lot of fun, fun today because we are playing with the brand new Lunar Beauty Life is a Drag palette. I don't know much about Lunar Beauty. Um, he actually created a first palette that was called Life's of Drag. This one is called Life's of Drag Facelift. So, this is the second one. The original Life's of Drag has been phased out, so um, this one has taken its place so we are super super excited i did not have the first one um because unfortunately i never got to get that one but i'm really excited for this one because it is just super super beautiful but if you guys want to see me do something really really crazy and have some really fun today then stick around because we get ready to go on with the show um, so let's get started. Um, I've done everything. I'm not finished with my lips, by the way. <laughs> if you guys are like worried about I'm not finished with my lips or my cheeks yet, I did a little bit just to kind of give me something and some bronzer and contour. I've done a little bit, but I've not done a whole lot yet. I'm waiting to see what the final look looks like. But um, but anyway, let's get into the palette. So the palette is $45, if I'm not mistaken. If it is, I think it's $45. I'm pretty sure that it is, but it's $45. And this is what it looks like. And I love, before I, the look at the pictures, of on the front of it the front of it is manny and he's done like a different he's done a different drag look with the tape pull back and everything it's just absolutely stunning it's so beautiful um and if you were on my instagram you saw that i actually went i got it i actually posted it so if you want to go on my instagram you can kind of see it um there too as well um and then let's open up the palette so this is what the palette looks like isn't it gorgeous? How beautiful are these? So you have your neutrals. So you have your neutrals on this side. So you can do an everyday look. You have in the center, you have your extra glamour or your glitz right here or glitter. And then you have over here, you have all of your, your extra colors. And um, all these colors here are all matte. And all the colors here are pretty much all matte. And the ones in the center are the ones that actually have the um, sparkle to them. So, um, just to give you guys an idea, I was going to do a whole swatch thing. But I think what I'll do is I'll put it here on the side. Um, I found some really good pictures of swatches because I'm so terrible at swatches. I just don't do really good. But I am going to show you just one or two just to show you some of the pigment. So, I'm going to show you one of the neutral colors. So here is Diva. It's like a very neutral kind of pink color. And I'm gonna just do it right here. It looks like that. And then I'm gonna do a little bit of Correct, which is like one of the bolder orange shades. And it is also matte. See how beautiful is that? And then let's do one of the, um, the center color Beat, which is actually a very, very extreme metallic shade to it the um full fantasy which looks like it's the it's the whitish one in the middle right here in the center it looks a lot like the one that he has in his strawberry dream palette and i forgot the name of the shade but i can't remember but it looks very similar to it or a little bit like it um it's got that kind of a extra to it so it's got like extra pump to it so we are going to create a um a little bit of a pride look with this so, all my makeup has been, it has been really good today, guys. I don't know. I just went to work. I came straight here. Um, I saw my work shirt on. <laughs> so, I just decided to go ahead and just start painting. And so, it's like, so it turned out really, really good. I'm very, very proud with the way my brows turned out. I'm really proud with the way the lips turned out, the skin. Everything looks really good. So, cross your fingers and hope that this look looks the way we're going to turn out. Um, it's going to be a colorful look. So, I mean, you know, so I, um, 
I know that's not everybody cup of tea, but you know what? We have to have fun. It's makeup for God's sakes. You know, you got to have a fun day. And, you know, and I am filming this is on a Saturday. Um, I actually filmed, I've got my skincare one. It'll go up to this day. But this is my first week I'm actually going to do, my second week that I'm doing two videos on Sunday. I'm dropping two to three every Sunday. Instead of doing my videos during the week, I'm going to start doing them all on just on Sunday. So when you guys get it, you'll get three videos or two videos on Sunday or maybe unless during the week if unless it's a big launch or something and I need to drop something I will but what I decided to do is I thought it would be a little bit easier for you guys on Sunday to actually see me um, drop a video and then you can kind of say oh you know what well I, I'm not really interested in that one but I really want to see this one or you know maybe I don't you know I'm not really interested in any of them or you know you can kind of take your time watching them and I thought Sunday would be a great day because you know, all day Sunday I mean it's just think sometimes you know you're working during the week it's really difficult to watch YouTube um, and you know a lot of people just don't have time to watch YouTube you know and watch like a 30 20 minute video so anyway I thought this would be a little bit easier for you guys so you just have to let me know down in the comment section below what you think on it um, I'm really, really excited about it. Um, I don't think anybody else on YouTube does this. I think they drop their videos sporadically throughout the week or they have a certain time frame that they set them throughout the week. Um, I think this is, I've never seen anybody do anything like this. So I just think it's kind of cool and I just thought it would be kind of nice and that way you know that I'll post on Sunday and you know that everything will be up on Sunday and you can watch it or you don't have to. So I just thought it'd give you that, those kind of options. So anyway, so let's start into the palettes. I'm all excited. So I've got my BK brush two three and um i'm actually going to start in the shade diva i'm going to start with diva because i really like this um so we're going to start with diva so we're going to start here in a crease and i'm just going to take it i'm going to start building up just a little bit because i want to have a little bit of a transition and i'm going to take one of the browns too um probably a probably sickening probably kind of mixing them together so i can get that really really pretty look together because we're going to start off with them kind of looking the same and then we're going to end up switching them out. So, um, I had the, I had the, uh, goddess, I had the goddess palette, um, which has also been discontinued. They don't have that one. And I also had the strawberry, uh, strawberry, I think it's strawberry, strawberry dream or strawberry fields. I have that one. I have that one as well. And all of his, his pigment is just insane. It's just, they're so, so good. So I'm really, really all for his palette. I mean, he's really, really great. Um, his lip glosses are great. His lipsticks are really good. He got really, really good products. So I'm really, really into his stuff. Um, so if you guys haven't checked out Lunar Beauty, you should go over and check it. Um, it's not, they have Afterpay, of course. Um, it's not really expensive. It's not too bad. Um, he prices everything really well. Um, his palettes usually, he, you get a lot of bang for your buck in your palette. Um, the same thing with um, his, um, he's got sponges, he has brushes. Um, he got some really, really good stuff, guys. So you might want to go on and check out his, his, his site. It's really, really good. Shade Diva, which I'm loving. Now, this one is just a little bit more, because I'm going over Diva, it is making it a little bit more peach, which is exactly what I wanted. Because I wanted it to be a little bit more. And you guys know that this eye is smaller than this eye. Don't ask me. It's like I, was, I have to go always out and about a little bit on this one. Now, with this look, guys, I was actually going to do tape. And then I was like, well, you know, should I even bother with it? <laughs> I'm like, you know, I don't even know if I want to go that route. So I put that all over my lid so the color would really, really super pop. Um, and I said, it, I actually did a primer underneath it too. So it would really pop. So that way all the colors would just kind of stand out a lot. Either Kai Kai or Kiki. I think it's Kiki, Kiki, maybe Kiki. I'm not sure, but it's kind of a, it's a purplish shade. So we're going to take it and on this side, we're going to go and we're going to start on the outside. And I'm going to take it and we're going to start packing it on the outer side. Now these are very, very pigmented shadows, guys. They're very pigmented. See how beautiful that is? Oh my God, it's gorgeous. Oh, beautiful mattes. Absolutely stunning. I'm gonna take this shade right under where I'm stopping with that one. Okay, so now we are going to go into the next shade, which is correct, and we're going to take that one, and we're going to pack it right in the middle of this one, and I'm going to wipe my brush off a little bit on a wet towel, because I want the pigment to be sticky a little bit. I want it to stick a little bit and to be a little bit more vibrant. I'm going to take it, and we're going to pack it right over this raspberry shade, raspberry paint shade. 
I'm gonna pack it right in the center and kind of take it over a little bit because we want it to kind of mix in with it. Underneath this part with it, right there in the center of that. It's my M124 brush. I love this brush. I don't know why I love this brush so much, but I love this brush. It's such a good brush. Pretty. It's such a beautiful look. Wow, I love that. Okay, so now let's take, I'm gonna take the yellow shade, which is called Campy. Now this shade I'm looking forward to because it looks really, really fun. So again, I'm wiping my brush off a little bit. So I'm taking Campy, which is this yellow shade here. And we're gonna go and we're gonna pack it right beside the orange. Wow, this is beautiful color. I love yellow. A lot of people are so scared of yellow, but I love it. And you know, yellow is sometimes is a little difficult to, um, in palettes, I always think that sometimes it's really hard to get a really good yellow for yellow to come out the way that you want it to in a palette. Sometimes. Wow. Isn't that pretty? Woo! I love it. This is great. Yeah, you, know, you guys, if you guys are new to my channel or if you're just hanging out with me, you know, I'm just all about makeup. I just love having fun with makeup. I feel like my inner 20, 21 year old, because we didn't have this whenever I was a kid. So, I mean, it, so it's like the colors and stuff now with, the, with makeup is just so beautiful. And there's just so much out there now. And it's just so exciting to me. My brush. And we're going to start packing Pageant Queen right here. Which she is this really beautiful purple. I should have known of the, the Circus palette, and I've still not done my review on that one. But we're going to get there. It's going to be another Pride look, so we're going to do that to this month. So I'm going to get ready to do a um, Shop My Stash video because I've got some newness coming within the coming weeks, and we're going to be doing that too soon. But um, I wanted to do a Shop My Stash or just have like a, you know, pull out of my favorites, some of my favorites out of my collection and do a look with that. And I'm thinking about doing like a 90s look with that just to kind of do like a 90s, uh, brown, you know, the deep brown or something like that. I'm thinking about doing something like that with it. Yes. So I took my Scott Barnes brush in um, 63, I did my 63, and just kind of went over and blended that one in a little bit more, and so I could get a feeling of kind of what I'm going for, so I really like it, so cool. And I blended this one just a little bit, so now we are going to wipe our brush again. Now, I have a brush that's very similar to this one, but I'm just going to use this one because I'm like, I'm really enjoying playing with this kind of sort of thing. Oh, I forgot to do the underneath. I forgot to do that. Manny, wow, these are so pretty. <laughs> <laughs> They're gorgeous. And I'm going to tell you, the neutral side is really, really pretty. I mean, look at these neutral colors. They're really beautiful. They're very good everyday colors, for sure. Green one, which is called Come On Sis. So we're going to do the green. Wow. How pretty is that? That is so pretty. <laughs> oh, my God. So pretty. I love it. Okay, okay, so now we're gonna do the blue one, and I'm gonna go in this one right here. It's called Fishy. We're gonna do Fishy, and you guys know I love me some blue. I love me some blue eyeshadow. Ooh, she is pretty. <laughs> oh, that's pretty. Go in Kiki. I'm gonna go in Kiki, and I'm gonna take a little bit, which is this really beautiful, it's almost like a mermaid kind of color, and I'm just gonna take a little bit of that. It's really pretty. It's almost like a mint color. And I'm going to take a little bit of that just to give it a little bit more uh, to it. It's almost like painting. It's like it's like a paint because I'm wiping my brush and everything. I love it when I get to create. It's so much fun. Face, which is a little bit of the white. I'm going to take a little bit of that. I'm going to tap up a little bit. And we're just going to go over that a little bit and just kind of blend just to make it kind of stand out a little bit more. Mmm, that is beautiful. Ooh, that's so pretty. It's so pretty. I love it. That's awesome. It's so unique. I just love it. It's so cool. 
it looks really cool too up front. So let's go and do, I'm gonna do a little bit of uh, the really, I'm gonna do a little bit of the black one, which is called Shady. It's really, really black, but I'm gonna use it as a liner. Um, M326 brush, and we're going to wet that. I'm gonna take my cloth again and kind of wet it a little bit. Great. It's so pretty. Wow. They are just doing great as liner. Wow. Just needed like a little bit of glam. A little bit of shimmer, shimmer there. You can't have something gay pride or not have any shimmer. Okay guys, I'm gonna go off and put some lashes on, do my lips and come back and give you guys the final results. So stay tuned. Okay guys, so what are we thinking? This guy's, I'm telling you, this look is sickening. Oh my God, it is so pretty. I love it, it looks so beautiful. I love the way it looks, I love the way my skin looks, I love the eyes, oh my God, it's so pretty. It's just such a beautiful look. <clears throat> I took a little bit more of this in the inner corner and then I packed a little bit more of the yellow and a little bit more of the blue over it and it gave like the most beautiful hue to it. The lashes are crazy. I mean, I've had these lashes. They're called corset. They're, they're crazy. They're crazy lashes, but they're really, really pretty. It, wor it works so well with this look. And I finally got to use that Barbie lipstick that I didn't get to use whenever I got the collection. I didn't get to use the Malibu Sunset, so I did the liner with it and this. And then a Scott Barnes lip gloss over and glitter britches. And mm -hmm, you know I'm feeling it. Hey! All right, so what are we feeling about Life's a Drag a facelift? So what are we thinking about it? I really, really love this. This is so, so, so awesome. I mean, this palette has just got everything in it. You've got... All of your, got your more neutral colors, and then, you know, if you want to kind of gradually go over and you want to start playing with some more color, like if you're somebody that's not really into like a lot of color, but you want to play with color, but you really don't know if you want to do color or not, it's a great palette because it's still got great matte in it with great neutrals, but then if you want to add like that little pop of color somewhere or you want to do something a little bit more fun, the pigment is there with a really, really good matte. And then, you know, you got your shimmer shades in the center, and they're also a little bit more on the neutral side, so they're not crazy, but they're just beautiful. They're seamless. They blend really, really well. These are beautiful mattes. These mattes are so creamy. They're really great. Now, I used a wet brush with mine. But I know I felt them without a brush, and even without it, the brush being wet, the pigment is there. You don't need to wet your brush. You don't have to do that. The black, I barely wet, and look at the drama that it gave me with the black, just as a liner. It did so, so, so well. Um, it's just a beautiful Oliver palette, guys. It's just really, really pretty. And I'm going to tell you, I used, um, I can wipe it. I've got stuff all over my hands, and I keep wiping it over it, and all of the makeup comes right off of it. I know we probably didn't do that on purpose, but I mean, but it's very smooth. It wipes off very easily. So if you get makeup all over it and you're wondering, it's kind of like a lightish, it's a light pink kind of color, lilac color that maybe you're thinking is going to get really, really exceptionally dirty, but um, it's really, really easy to wipe off, so it's not hard. The mirror in it is great. It feels really awesome to kind of hold it. Um, it's not really um, over the top as far as like holding it. It's not super, super heavy. It's It's got a nice weight, but it's not super heavy, but you can see everything in it. You can see yourself really, really good and up close. Um, I am just telling you, I'm living and breathing this look, guys. It's just beautiful. It's just like, I mean, I was just, I mean, you know, it is, it is a pride look and it is crazy, but it's just, I mean, you know, but it just turned out so beautiful. It's so pretty. I'm so proud of myself. I'm so proud. I'm like so proud of myself. Yay. <laughs> So anyway, guys, um, that's it for me today. Um, I hope you like this video. I know that 
You know, sometimes when I do these colorful looks, I know that there are a lot of people that are not really interested in these colorful looks, but I mean, I don't always like to do neutral things. I'm an artist after all, and I do like to do artsy things sometimes, and I like to have fun with stuff, and that artist in me just wants to play. So, these kind of palettes just bring it in, out of me, and you know, and I'm just, if you stuck around this long and you said when you want, you watched it, I really, really do appreciate you watching, because that really, really means a lot to me. So, I'm glad you stuck around and you hung out with me do this crazy look on myself. Always remember, please be safe, be strong, be proud, stand tall, and remember always, always, you know, first of all, love yourself. And then second of all, you know, be nice to others because, you know, a little kindness can go a long way in this world and you can make a difference. Um, and so with that said, guys, I love you, love you, love you, and have a wonderful rest of your day. We'll see you again in the next episode. Bye.